rock filmmaking technique, I think it encourages people to be themselves, to become individuals. It will give rise, in my opinion, to very expressionist cinema. And what is expressionist cinema? It's like, this is the way I would like to express. This is how I want to make a film. This is how I want to tell a story. This is how I want to use the camera. So it becomes an extension of one's personality. So if the human pupil can register an image with this kind of a depth and clarity, so theoretically you just need a camera of a pupil size. Ramu sir was really open to every idea that what we are editing. He used to just see the timeline and he used to just cut the shot. Why the biggest push is that the cameras are not expensive, so we can only take this picture. <laughs> Filmmaking in the film industry. The way he thinks is completely different from the other director what he thinks. And from the individual sensibilities, the individual what attracts their eye on a personal level, without any coordination between each other, all these four to five operators are capturing each shot and these being sent to the editing room and the editors take their vision of how they want to put it together. Actually, when actors come on the set, first of all, they can't spot the cameras. You never know once you're once you're on set where you're being recorded from. You have to be very conscious. Even though you may want to be facing the camera all the time, there are other cameras that are on different angles. You better be performing correctly. I bought this Bitti Bada scene only because that is very close to my heart. <laughs> and I have taken one and a half months to edit that scene. We got around 4,800 shots, so I did a 5 minute sequence. And then uh, the whole thing changes, the whole pattern of cutting changes because even the editors are used in a certain format. The moment the format is not being followed, they also have to throw the editing rules out into the dustbin. Without a lock sheet, without a clapper, and without the OK takes, we have to edit the scene. So we have to edit according to our perception what is correct and what is not. Why does one say that my angles are weird, my angles are bizarre sometimes? But the reason for that is it's a question of the choice you make how you want to see something. If I want to see Amita Bachchan in Sarkar in a slightly low angle in the suggestion of a tea saucer, what the angle is doing is just amplifying the power of Sarkar. Yeah, that's just one example. I mean. They are on the toes all the time, holding the cameras, just in different angles, sometimes I get scared, what a peep falls. I was tied on top of the car, <laughs> shooting Sanjay sir and Nara sir. Nara was roaming around the whole time stand. It was risky but it was a good thing. Guys, we had a time of the cops started chasing us after a point. For Ramu sir, there is no word in the dictionary called as convention. <laughs> Department when they see the film or the visuals, if it is being shot by people who not been in film sets before and the compositions are so unique, it is that much of talent out is there. RGB star is given more kind of a push to take new kind of angles. He was the first person to use Steadicam in the industry. At that time, people were very apprehensive. Now he started filmmaking on the DSLR. I don't know what is his next step. He might be doing a shoot on iPhone also. Then of course the facilities that the 5D camera provides, its maneuverability, I think these are some of the things that that is love. Fundamental one important aspect of this whole thing is to forget what you trained so far, to forget what you thought cinema was completely and look at it in a fresh perspective. I've had a great time working on this. But the thing is that he's a visionary, he's a Marvel director. Now there will be a huge gateway and a lot of good movies hopefully coming through. And everybody lived up and did their best. Department is revolution. Mm -hmm. Go and check it out. It's total raw. Recreating filmmaking all over again. Definitely very very good mainstream commercial cinema. <laughs>